tell us a little bit about what your experience with, with Malaria No More and your trip to Africa was about. Well, um, I will first say that I was introduced to Malaria No More actually through Idol Gives Back. And when we did that week, we sat there and watched these videos and I was like, how is all of this going on and we don't really know about it, you know? And I thought that it was really great that they took the time to actually educate us because the thing I love about America is that when we, when we find out about something and we know that it can be prevented or that we can help out, we jump on board. But the thing is, we didn't really know about it. So that was kind of a time of education for me and also hopefully for everybody that was watching the show. So I got really excited about something as easy as donating $10. Like one of those nets and there. Yes, and saving lives. I was like, we c I can individually save a life. So it got me really excited. And after the show ended and we got ready for the tour, I got this call that said, would you like to travel to Africa and see firsthand what Malaria No More is doing and go with the first lady? And I was like, well, no, of course not. Of course I want to go. <laughs> like, I <laughs> um, it was such an honor, and I knew that I was going to be spending the day with also the First Lady of Zambia. So I spent the day with two First Ladies and got a chance to really um, just see firsthand what a bed net meant to somebody and how hard it is for them to actually get it unless we can provide it to them. So... Um, I got to sing with an African children's choir that learned English just for that one song. Um, we were able to sing Amazing Grace, and they took the time to learn it because they were behind helping their community um, prevent malaria. And after that, we went to a church. And this church, I sang with their worship team, and then they had a question and answer session with children. And I sat down with these children, and I was like, how many of you have been affected by malaria. And there were about 30 of them and all of them raised their hands. And I was like, really? Well, how many of you have actually had the disease before? And about 20 of them still had their hands in the air. And so I started asking them questions about, you know, how did it make you feel? And they went through all of these stories about the fevers and the, the vomiting and everything that goes along with it that I will not tell you. You probably don't want to hear that right now. <laughs> especially since you just ate. So, um, but there are so many horrible things that go along with this disease, and they were the, they were the blessed ones that lived through it, but um, there are a million children a year that die from malaria, and that broke my heart. So I came home with just a renewed interest about what can we do? How can we help? What can I do? You know, is it $10 a week? Is it, you know, is, is it getting other people involved? Is it educating people? And I think it's all of the above, you know, giving yourself, but also making other people aware of it because I think that that's what is really making a difference right now. Well, you've been inspirational for many folks. And uh, Scott, you, you've, I'm sure you've been, you know, just incredibly happy having a spokesperson like this. What's it been like working with Melinda? Melinda is amazing. That's the only thing I can say. And before I say it anymore, I just want to thank you. You, you. You've done more. You've done more than anyone would expect for somebody who is, as you said earlier, bringing her own career together. And you've thought of others first. And so you've said, I will make a difference and I will protect children from malaria and do your part. And everyone here has done the, the same part today. And it's been really amazing. So you're just an amazing person, and you're just a genuine human being. Having spent some time with her today, you're just really special. So thank you for taking this on. Thank you. And, and we thought it would be helpful if you might help, Kathy and I. And, and Kathy, what was behind our decision to make? We started off, and the way it worked was we decided to give a, a net for every one of the, I think we had, about, we had about 2,087 folks here. So what led us to do that, Kathy? Well, each year, Elliot and I, have, we think about what would be a really interesting thing to sort of make a difference. Sometimes we do it local, sometimes we do it far away. So we, we have those couch conversations, and this was one of the ones that came up. And, and it was inspired by sitting on our couch and watching you and watching you talk about that. So we said, we'll start off, and we'll do about $25,000 of a donation. This is a profitable and wonderful event, but let's go farther. 
And so then we got KPMG, a large accounting com company, who donated a game to Malaria No More. And then we put a challenge to these folks to go a bit more. And we've been, we've been buying nets for the last about 72 hours. Carla, can you hit the tote board here? Let's see. And we're not done. We're just starting. How many nets have we bought since we've been here? 5,013 nets. <laughs> and so Kathy and I would like to donate, and we would like to ask Melinda and Scott if you would accept, and it's just the beginning check, from the learning field, it, from learning 2007, a check for $50,130. Absolutely. Please come in. Thank you, thank you. But you know what? As Melinda said, it's a million kids. It's three thousand kids a day. And I want to keep saying this to you. It's really easy to go buy an expensive eight, ten dollar cup of coffee. And they're kids who are never gonna have the money to do that, but they're never gonna live long enough to be able to have that. And so we want to have you leave here and each of you be an ambassador. And we've been talking about ways in which we turn these two thousand people into two thousand ambassadors for malaria no more. And just as Melinda is carrying that message in what she does, we hope to work with all of you there. So Scott, thank you for the work that your foundation does. Thank you. Melinda, thank you for being inspiring to this. Thank all of you for your generosity and continued generosity. And we're going to get off the stage to hear a couple more tunes from one of our favorite, favorite idols and talent, Melinda Doolittle. <laughs> 